Getting reliable electricity to your home works much like this highway. The highway is built to have enough lanes to serve its customers during the time of maximum use, typically rush hour. The number of cars this highway can handle during rush hour is its capacity. Roseville Electric Utility System also has a capacity based on its own type of rush hour. That period when most customers are using the most power from the utility at the same time, called peak demand. In Roseville, our rush hour occurs in the summer, late in the afternoon when temperatures are hot and people are coming home after school and work. This is when a lot of people take power from the system at the same time. This includes customers with rooftop solar. Solar customers, while often using the energy they generate, also rely on the electric utility and its distribution system's infrastructure to serve them when needed, especially when their system is not generating enough electricity during this late afternoon rush hour and on days when the sun is not shining. The total cost of building and maintaining a highway is based on what size it needs to be to handle that rush hour traffic. This is the same for our electric utility system. The costs of building and maintaining the utility's infrastructure include poles, wires, substations, other equipment and people to handle the electricity rush hour. Our system must be built to serve the maximum number of customers using the system during peak demand. With our current rate structure, we're moving toward having all customers pay their fair share of Roseville Electric Utilities distribution system infrastructure costs. These costs are fixed, meaning they don't change based on how much power you use each month. You'll see this listed on your bill as the basic service charge. You and your neighbors pay the same amount. Prior to moving to this rate structure, solar customers were not paying their fair share of the fixed costs, even though at times they were using the system just as much as a non-solar customer. While many electric utilities, including Roseville, have been able to handle this cost imbalance created with rooftop solar, the number of solar customers has greatly increased. With the number of solar customers expected to increase, if changes to our rate structure were not made, this cost imbalance will only become greater and more unfair to non-solar customers.